hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today is another diamond painting themed video but today we're going to be looking at spare drill storage i have been looking for a way to like organize and store my spare drills i haven't really <clears throat> got a system in place yet. i've just well i started <laughs> a couple of weeks ago but um i haven't got any proper boxes or anything um and i'm not sure really how i exactly want to store them but um so i was looking on youtube for inspiration and i came across a video on a channel called diamond painting fanatics Um, i'll link the channel well i'll link the video down below that i watched and i thought oh it's the best sort of box i've seen so far it looks really really perfect so hopefully this is going to do the job so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this. This is like a big box in here that you put together, but you'll see why it's really, really good. What I've got at the minute, I saw, I saw that and then I thought, right, I'll start getting organised. So I've just got like an old box here. And what I've done, I ordered a load of baggies from Amazon. It said they were like meant to be strong baggies. I mean, they're all right, but they are quite flimsy, as you can see. So, yeah maybe not as good as what i had hoped for so what i'm kind of doing at the minute um as i'm sort of putting my drills in once i've got some drills i'm just putting like a little piece of card in the back just to make them so they'll stand up and that seems to be working really well and um, these little stickers i mean i'll maybe do a different video on it so what i've done i just found um i just googled dmc code colors or something like that dmc numbers or dmc chart i think and then i saw this chart so i just saved the image and then sized it so it would fit onto a piece of a4 and then i printed it onto sticker paper and i've literally cut all these out and then stuck them it was a job and a half onto all the baggies in order so i've got a a baggie for every single one these are going to be my round drills i've got this one printed off for my square drills and then i'll do as i sort of um start sorting out my crystals and things they'll have their own storage bit as well i've then discovered i couldn't find all my old spare drills i just kept them in uh as i was doing them just in this i found them a couple of days ago and i had them in these little holographic ones which actually are sturdy so i'm wondering whether i should have just had those but they are a lot more expensive i've got stacks of cards i'm kind of happy i think just to to use these we'll see how we get on anyway but all these are in order so i need to now just work my way through and put everything into these bags and transfer it um at the same time that i was printed off that chart onto sticky paper and i'm like digressing a bit but it's just sort of showing what i'm doing i printed it just onto regular regular piece of paper printed paper and then as i put them in sort of transfer my spare drills into these baggies i'm just highlighting so i know which colors i've got um so all these these haven't been added on yet so as i sort of start adding them into my system score them off and then that way if i ever want to do like a heaven and earth designs canvas or anything i'll be able to know what drills i've got and you know just go to them and see if i have enough so yeah it's just um my own little system that i'm doing <laughs> not sure if it, you think it's any good or any not or not but as long as it kind of works but now i'm thinking i've ordered this big box i'm thinking well this might have been okay i'll just put a little piece of paper in just to divide the drills and then it fits in quite nicely actually <laughs> so hmm, we'll see but that might be nice for my, my crystals or something so enough rambling this is from ebay i will pop a link to the product down below and oh gosh i can't even remember how much it, they were but they, you got a discount if you ordered two i'm gonna pop it on the screen now um or i'll pop down below anyway the price oh, so I'm coming here. just wondering if there's like a little invoice that'll tell me i think is there no okay that's fine this is like this object feel wrap sorry for the noise 
got this. I'm just going to remove this in case it's got my address on, <laughs> um, which it has. Okay, so the prices for these, um, I got two and it came in at 23.38. Then there's a £5.86 discount. Then it's got all the VAT on everything. So in total, I paid £17.52 pence for these two boxes. But when you see them, I think they're really good. And what they are, it's actually they're for trading cards. So it's a trading card storage box. And it says it should hold 3,200 cards in each box. And it has a lid as well. So that's what I quite liked about them. Let's get them opened. But I realised it came like this, I'd have opened all this up first. But I suppose at least you can see that how they're, they're shipped out. Um, it took a little bit. They were delivered by Hermes, well, every. Um, I got a tracking link. Um, and it, it took a few days for them to come, which is fine. I was in no real rush. I think I ordered them on the 27th of August. And then they came couple of days ago so they are just plain white boxes like this good grief <laughs> um let me just get this oh, one will be the lid won't it will be the box so i think when you see them though i think you'll see why i've got them and they look but really sturdy There's a lot of plastic It's literally, it's worse than cling film. I'm so sorry about this. So, I am actually slightly hungover this morning. <laughs> we went out for a meal yesterday with friends, which was lovely. Um, but we met at three o'clock in the afternoon. So it ended up being a bit of a, an old day. -er. We had lots of cocktails. We went to a gorgeous French restaurant in, like, in the centre of York and the food was just delicious so if you're in York and you're looking for somewhere nice to eat I would recommend it was called Rustique and they had really good set menus as well so it's a la carte but then there's also set menus um, that you could choose from and honestly the food was just delicious right good grief right we're there guys <laughs> I should have just done one because we only need to see one, but we'll get everything out just to make sure it's all okay. Good grief, what an effort. So yeah, it, much fun was had. Many cocktails were drunk. I have to say I was slightly delicate this morning. Okay, so what's this bit? Hmm, I'm not sure, so we'll just open everything up and then we can see what it is. This is just like black cling film, it's all it is. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 I know what these are. I know, I know, I know. Okay, it's all sticking to me now. So, we have got here these look like the lids. So, pop these to one side. Shopping you up. Zoom you out a little bit, just to make sure. So what we've got here, we've got, so I will just show you what it would be, I think, for like one, so don't get confused. So we've got like the base, the lid, and then oh, it's three of these. I've got six in total, so I'm going to assume three per box. Let's get cracking. So <laughs> everything's scored. And I'd, oh, let me just move these drills. They're going to fall on the floor. That'd be a disaster. So let's have a look. Oh, they're not as big as what I thought. That's good. I was thinking it was going to be absolutely massive. Um, it doesn't come with any instructions, but I don't think it could be that tricky, can it? What we do is so this looks like this will fold over there. And then again, just going to make sure all these are kind of like, they're going to fold it now whilst they're on the flat. I'm going to turn this round. We'll do this together and we shall see. When you watch it on the video, it's very different, isn't it, to doing it yourself. 
Okay. It's honestly such a great box. Rather than having to sort of mess about doing your... Like your dividers and everything. So does this go like that? And then this... Aha, right. Okay. Let me get one of these dividers. So here's the divider. Gonna... No, do want... Which is the right way to do it? Browns. Everything's going to be white inside, isn't it? So I don't want like white. Is it white or brown? I'll have it as white. Okay. And that's what they got. So this, you've got your score lines here. And then you've got these bits here. Okay. So I think what we need to do as this bit comes round. Right, so this oh gosh. Right. Is this even clear? Fold in the end. This is gonna come over to make the side, but before you clip that bit in, you need to put this little spacey bit in here. That's down there, that's there. This holds it in. That goes there. It's actually really easy. It just looks a bit awkward. I think we'll get better as we go. So that's there. This comes over. Push that down. Bang. So there's that first one held in place. So before I do bring this one over, we need to get the next divider in place. Okay, this is really straightforward. So <laughs> I'm going to fold this along the score lines there we go and we just pull the little wings back on themselves pull the wings back on themselves pop this here this one comes down we need to put this down let's have a look that's just catching on the side bit Put that there. Bring that over. Can you see what's happening? This is really good. Put that there. Amazing. So it's starting to take shape. Can you see? It's got the dividers in. This is going to be really good. Cool. Next one. So we need to get the... This is why I'm not a QVC demonstrator. <laughs> it's actually really easy, but I'm making it look so difficult. It's just a bit fiddly. I'm wondering whether I should have like glued these on the side, but I suppose if you leave it like this, you can put it up and down. If you, you know, decide that you don't want to use it, you want to store it. Oh, sorry guys, you could do that. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to put this, this other side in. Bring the end up so we remember to do that. This one's there. We put the final one in place as well, which will go. This is the bit when you just, it's a bit fiddly, I think. Okay, so that's down. That's it. Bring this one there. Awesome. And we can put this one down here as well other side make sure everything's in place there this one comes down oh you see that is so easy and there we go there's the box with dividers in really really good i'm wondering if it should have been brown side up or white i quite like it with the white i think I might even end up decorating these bits it feels pretty sturdy um, you could, if you wanted, I suppose, put a bit of glue on the tabs, but I'm not that fussy about that. The lid should be super easy, shouldn't it? Let's just do it and make sure that it fits nicely. So we've just got the score lines again. These score super easy. I mean, they, they fold really, really easily. Just on there. And on there. Fab. So this is going to be simple she says. So we just fold this bit in, 
going to bring this bit up, fold this bit in, that's it, okay, so fold both the edges up here, then these have the tabs which come over, hold it together, same on this side, sorted, she says. So, and that's it done. That's so easy. So there's the lid. Does it fit? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Then you can just decorate it how you want. Maybe for like a little, might use my Cricut. Oh, oh yeah, it has got some little grooves here. I was gonna say, how do you get the lid off? It's a really snug fit. So they've got the little cutouts there. Let's try some of these baggies in that I've got to see if they're gonna fit and how big. I might need to get some bigger baggies, which will make me a little bit sad because I've just labeled them all up. Let me get one out that's got, there we go. So if you see here, oh, actually they're the perfect height. Let me just put something in there so, so I know where they've come out of. As you can see, look at that. They sit in there really nicely. Actually, just to the top, they're perfect. So I'll put these baggies um, in the description box with a link to them down below. Um, I forgot a tape measure here or a ruler so I can tell you the size of them. I'm so unorganised. I just thought, oh, I'm going to just film it. I haven't prepared properly. <laughs> have I got a tape measure? I must have something in here. Surely I've got a ruler. I was actually looking for a ruler the other day. And I couldn't find it. Oh, here's a tape measure. Okay. So, my baggies are, how wide are they here? So, they're two and a half inches wide by, how high are they? So, two and a half by three and three quarters I think I would say um and they are the perfect height um really really good I'll turn the right way around so yeah they're going to fit in there without getting the top so that's great um the holographic ones that I've got are storage in already they have got them in different sizes these this one is like a small size which fits in there easily enough And then there is um, a bigger one. I think I've got some of the bigger ones here. Yeah, is that a bigger one? Um, I'm sure I've got some big baggies. Oh, let's have a look at my stash. Maybe not. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So this is going to hold loads. Maybe I might even be able to get all my rounds in two and then my squares in two that'd be really really good but what i do as i am um, i think i'm going to get everything into these and then i'll transfer them all into this and then we'll go or maybe i'll just put the um maybe i'll keep my empty ones in this and as i fill them up i'll put them in oh i don't know what i'm going to do i'm completely rambling this is not a very helpful video but what i did want you to do was just to see this box and how brilliant it is so yeah well, so i've got everything in this little one here as these fill up i am imagine that they'll um run out of space you know because it'll take up and then as you get extra bags for a particular color especially like your 310s and that then there's loads of spare storage or you can maybe put your crystals in one side special shapes in another um i don't know it's like i just think it's a really really good box it's really sturdy what's it say on the bottom here so that's what we're looking at here 3200 count storage box full lid um, but yeah, all links down below. Let me know what you think. Um, have you used these as well? But great for your kids as well. They've got their um, the trading cards as well. Good to keep them in. So yeah, I just really liked it because it's sturdy. And then, yeah, I'm not going to get spillage into between rows. And yeah, who knows? Right then, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Take care. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And you understood what I was on about at all. And um, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye for now.